my dearest divine feminine as i sit down to pen down my thoughts with the intention of sharing it with you with an open heart and an honest feelings i find myself enveloped in many emotions it feels as if every word that i'm writing it carries the weight of the universe yet i'm trying to be as articulate as i can be so that i can make you understand the actual depth of my heart there was a time when i believed that love had forsaken me i wandered through the shadows of karmic relationship and there was also a time when i met you when we were together but at that point in time i was not so mature i did not recognize true love and i also felt that love can be replaced especially if a relationship doesn't work out for whatever x y z reasons that someone else can fill the gap but i had to learn a very big and important lesson of my life there was a time when i believed that love was not for me i was blinded by the illusions and false promises of the karmic relationship the karmic relationship instantly yes i want to share the truth with you so i will tell you everything how the karmic relationship the entanglement actually happened it drew me in quickly like quick sand when i first encountered the karmic i thought i've been swept into a powerful current unable to resist its pull i felt that it was probably love there was undeniable attraction and intensity because it had to take me to my doom it seemed so alluring and captivating that i was entranced by the false hopes that of course at that time it all seemed very real very promising i really felt that i had found something extraordinary something that could fill the void inside of me at that point in time i was also quite societally inclined which is also the reason why i could not take a strong decision when it came to us i could not really put things together back then because i felt that everything had to look perfect societally in the eyes of other people not that our relationship was not perfect it was more than perfect but the type of problems we had i mean now i feel that those were not even problems it was literally true love but at that moment in time i did not have the right discernment i did not have discernment at all but i can say today that i was weak and spiritually immature i was not strong enough to maybe wait for the right time for the right divine timing so i felt the karmic relationship is going to suit me and in the beginning everything seemed perfect almost too good to be true the excitement the passion the thrill it all felt so intoxicating i was drawn to the surface level allure to be honest i was of course blinded by the illusion of what i thought was love my dear the karmic relationship was really so dark it had so many dark emotions initially there was a high it seemed euphoric but the lows well the low phase when it happened i was left to question my own worth i was so gaslighted to such a degree that for a long time i started feeling that there was something entirely wrong with me i could not do anything properly i looked like a depressed person for a long time but the false hopes they presented Ha, huh, you know, they presented this dream. There were many people around me who were real life actors. The false hopes presented themselves as dreams within my reach. And I clung to them desperately, and everybody else was also chiming in. 
In my low phase, I thought of you, as to how nice you were to me, how much you cared for me, how amazing I felt around you, and how stupid I was to take it all for granted and let it go. Hmm. So I had to make this. What I had at that point in time, I had to make it work somehow. So I kept convincing myself that this is definitely the path which is correct for me. Whatever is happening, whatever madness, whatever hellhole I was in, I was trying to force myself to believe that this is going to fulfill me. But as time went on, the facade began to crumble. The initial attraction gave way to a reality, a dark reality, a painful reality. That was far, far away from fantasy that I had built in my head. Saw the ugly faces of all those real life actors. The promises turned into empty words and the allure became a trap that kept me bound and in confusion and pain. It was not just one harsh lesson actually, it was many lessons that I had to learn the hard way. I realized that the karmic relationship was not built on genuine love, but on illusions and superficial desires. It took me a very long time to see through the falsehood, to understand that I was chasing a mirage. It was not just painful, it was too painful for me. But it was also painful for a lot of people around me who cared for me. The karmic connection was a reflection of my own insecurities and unresolved issues, the wounds of the narcissistic society and the fears and the demands of existing on this planet. I still feel that I'm in survival mode at times. When I look at you, I still feel that I'm on survival mode for sure because you seem to be on thriving mode. I'm actually appreciating you. But I'm glad that at least now I have the recognition towards the love we share. The love we share is true love. The love we shared was also true love. But this karmic relationship, it was the path that I had to be at that point in time to learn about myself, my true self, and about you. After all this while, I've also realized one more truth. It's a bit deep, but I will share it with you. Although it may look like that the karmic relationship was a physical, tangible thing, but it was also hidden inside of me. When I was with you, I was like very happy. I was relaxed. I did not have any fears. But as time passed by, those fears were given to me by people around me. That you need to settle down. You need to find someone like you. You need to do this, you need to do that, you need to earn this much, or you need to live in a certain type of house. A lot of expectations and demands were setting in, but they were all setting in very invisibly. And the karmic insecurities were all inside of me. And eventually the right time came in and it created a presented a person in front of me and that person initially as how all karmic things look beautiful and attractive look beautiful and attractive not more than you no one is more beautiful and attractive than you for me but I was hurt and I was scared not just because of you but because of what other people told me or what the world told me. I was more scared to get hurt by you. So to protect myself from getting hurt by you, I jumped into a much bigger hellhole. And then I realized that what I had with you was actually paradise. It was heaven. I was in heaven with you. I was the happiest person with you. You are my happy place even now. But I was not strong, bold, and sometimes I feel I'm still not that strong and bold. I'm working on myself. I feel I have to please so many people sometimes. I have to take care of so many people sometimes. 
and then I have some desires. I still have these materialistic desires, which I feel you don't have because you are so giving and kind. Maybe I'm not that giving and kind. The karmic took me away from my true self and from you. I do regret the time I spent in that illusion and the pain that it caused me. But I'm sure it has taught me something. Like I should have shown more trust in our relationship. I did not work enough. The amount of work I put in the karmic relationship, like I put everything into it. I tried to do so much. If I had put even 30 or 40 percent of the same effort in our relationship back then, things would not have been different. But I had to go through this karmic punishment. It was written for me. It was destined for me. I had to go through this. I had to maybe resolve some karma. I had to give back something to someone. But somehow it was also the karmic relationship and the pain that it gave to me that in the darkness I found a light, a guiding star. That was you. It was your love that used to bring a smile on my face, that still brings a smile on my face. Your love, your presence, your unwavering spirit. It has shown me what true love really means. It's not based on fleeting attraction or false promises. It's not based on karmic world. It's based on trust and authenticity. True love is not based on material desires. So as I stand before you now, I am more aware than ever of the mistakes I made and the lessons I learned in the process. The karmic relationship was a detour, a necessary but painful chapter that ultimately ended and it brought me closer to understanding what I truly need as a human being. And that's you, my divine feminine. I am committed to moving forward with honesty, with an open heart and with a deeper appreciation for the love we share. I know I have a long way to go in earning back your trust. There is a part of me that is still healing from the karmic torture that I went through and the regret I had. I still have for not showing enough trust in true love or not even knowing about true love properly. I'm still learning about love, but I am willing to put the effort now and I am going to show you that my love for you is genuine and everlasting. And this time I'm also taking help from God because you have taught me that I must surrender to God. When I see you having such a beautiful natural connection with Supreme, with the energy which I never really thought about, I never believed in, but my oh my, a new world opened up when I started seeing a lot of synchronicities, especially connected with you. I felt that it's time that I need to look into the other side. Literally there are synchronicities all the time, everywhere. And now I stand on the other side, sometimes. When I stand on the other side, I feel I'm free from the chains of the past. I'm left with a lingering guilt and confusion too. The wounds are still healing, but the scars are still there. The wounds may have healed, but the scars are still there. And with them a fear of stepping into the light of love once more. How do I move past the shadows of my mistakes and embrace the possibility of a new beginning with you? I am learning to forgive myself to see that the journey that I have in front of me is more important than what has gone by. And the past was also a necessary passage to bring me to this moment of clarity. Or maybe God was just trying to tell me that true love is abstract and very beautiful and it can pass the test of time. Yet the fear of not being worthy of your love or falling short persists. I want to love you with every fiber of my being, but I need to know that can I do so without the ghost of the past hauntings? The fear of future? I always had a fear of future which is why I plunged in so fast into the karmic connection. Because the karmic gave me false hopes and the promises about future. The karmic gave me very beautiful picture about the future. And you would not make these commitments because I know you don't like to make up stories and you don't know what's in the future and you like to be in the present moment. You wanted me to wait, 
But day by day, I'm learning to be more present. Day by day, I'm trying to build more gratitude and just spread love and the joy that you spread around. But I'm still learning. I'm still learning. But please understand, my love, that this letter is not just a confession. But it's also my way of telling you that I want to heal and I want to become better. And I want to make efforts to make our love a possibility. I also want for both of us to continue to grow and to heal. I don't want to pull you down. I want to become the man you deserve. I want to be the divine love you deserve. Because I have given you a lot of pain, I know. And I am sometimes not up to the mark. But I'm ready to fight against my darkness, my demons. I'm ready to fight against the negative guilt and shameful feelings that I carry sometimes. And I'm ready to embrace the beauty of what we can create together. But more than that, I'm really grateful for your patience, for your unconditional love, for the way you are, for who you are. Because it's you who shows me that there is light in this dark world. It's because of you I have true hope again. It's because of you that I'm not scared about the future so much. It's not just a fleeting dream. It's not just a fleeting dream, but it's a reality that we both can create together or cherish together. I know that you don't believe in creating anything. You believe in surrendering to God, surrendering to Source, so that's also one aspect that I'm working on, to learn to surrender more and more and more every single day with every passing day. My dear, this is where I'm going to stop writing. But with all my heart and soul, I want to tell you that I love you a lot. Yours, Divine Masculine.